Hi, this is Ruthie Oberg with a devotion from history. On October 12th of 1960, Lorenzo Sumalong of the Philippines delivered a speech at the United Nations General Assembly. Nikita Khrushchev, the leader of the Soviet Union, had earlier denounced the imperialism of the Western nations. However, when Sumalong challenged Khrushchev to loosen up and give a little more freedom to the nations in Eastern Europe, the Soviet leader grew incensed. Khrushchev removed the shoe from his right foot and began pounding it on his desk more and more loudly until the entire assembly was transfixed at the spectacle of the leader of the second most powerful nation defying the world. His famous words to Western leaders, we will bury you, kept the threat of Cold War alive in the minds of those leaders. But just four years later, on October 12th of 1964, Nikita Khrushchev was forced to resign from his office in the Communist Party and he was cast aside for the remainder of his life. When one of his grandsons was asked what the ex-premier was doing during his retirement, the grandson simply replied, Grandfather cries. After he died on September 11th of 1971, he was denied a state funeral. The Soviet papers carried the news of his death in just one line and the home where he spent most of his final years was leveled to keep it from becoming a shrine. The psalmist declares, Why do the nations rage, and the people plot a vain thing? He who sits in heaven shall distress them in his deep displeasure. Government leaders may oppose God and issue bold proclamations against his commands, but it is God who appoints and removes them at his pleasure. Ultimately, every leader will give an account of themselves to him. And this should cause every leader from the White House to the church house to your house to tremble. This is Devotions from History with Ruthie Oberg. I'll see you tomorrow.